from pitchers to catchers as the all century team continues. If you have to pick at every position one great one, Bench is the greatest catcher that ever lived and ever will live. For Johnny Bench, greatness was evident in his very first season. All-star selection, rookie of the year. Two MVP awards would follow, along with a reputation for all-round brilliance. He was just so smart. I mean, he could sit on the bench with me, and he said, did you see that? And I said, no, I didn't see that. He could pick things out from a pitcher, I mean, just like that. No, he sat over here with Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Sit over here, John. He's smart. Smart enough to revolutionize the way his position was played by keeping his right hand safely behind his back. He had big, strong hands. I mean, he could use his catcher's glove like you use a first baseman's glove, and no other catcher could do that. Offering! Well, I learned to do things and, and how to sweep tag and do things that nobody else had been able to do because they'd always been two-handed catchers, and they'd take that brown glove and they'd stick it down there. And I learned to catch the way Johnny Bench could catch. I thought Johnny had the best arm of any catcher that I've seen because of the way he threw the ball. And I think it came across his ear, across his right ear, very truly. Here we go. Bench is throw right on the money. Uh, look at that kid throw. As great as Bench was behind the plate, he also had more than 2,000 hits, almost 400 home runs and a knack for coming through in the clutch. Calling the game, uh, it's very demanding physically, and then he would come up in the ninth inning and just happen to hit that home run to, to beat you. And a pitch to bench, change hit in the air to deep right field, and goes to Vinci, it's a In a century of catchers, one man stands alone. Nobody reminds me of Johnny Bench, and I say it with all the credibility and, and honesty in the world, and, uh, nobody had a transfer from the glove to the throwing position as quickly as Bench had. He sucked up balls in the dirt. He was a power hitter. He was a leader. Catcher in baseball history. 1,376 runs batted in. 1,376 runs batted in. 10. 10. 10. Gold Glove Awards. 389 home runs. 389 home runs. 14 All-Star Seasons. My father got me into catching. I was about uh, five years old, I guess, when I first realized what baseball really was and what my ambitions were in life. My father thought that catching was the quickest way to the big leagues, and he thought that uh, that's what the big leagues needed. And uh, as a result, uh, I had a reputation as a catcher all my life because I started out as a catcher when I was six years old in Little League. National League base runners would have been a lot happier if Johnny had chosen another position because he sure mastered this one. He revolutionized one-handed catching to protect his throwing hand. Throwing was Bench's forte. He had an arm like a howitzer. See what I mean? I always took care of my arm in my early league zone. I'd love to show it off. I'd, I could stand on home plate and throw it over the left field fence and on a line, and that was just something I was blessed with. My big hands helped probably in controlling the ball and being able to grab it and get it out of the mitt. I worked on my transfer. I worked on getting quick feet, quick hands, and then I just took the style that worked best for me and sort of molded into what soon was to be my major league style. Uh, 